Hey. Hey, what you up to? Oh, nothing. Just messing around with this new app that I downloaded called Voter. Politics in your pocket. Come check it out. It's pretty cool. It's this app. Like, it's kind of combining Twitter, Grinder with politics. It was actually created after the great crash at the RNC. The founder was like, why don't we put politics and a dating app together? And so you can kind of select your top issues. And they also have this feature called top politicians in your area. So right now it's Kamala Harris and Gabe Vasquez. Um, check out this. And then, it, like, like I said, it's like a dating app. So right down here at the discover part, you can discover local politicians in your area as well. So okay so it discovers like here you can see here just mess around with it check it out okay yeah this episode is brought to you by our sponsor voter the only politician dating app i guess you can say on the market download the app today and use promo code p-u-n-m for one week off one week free guys it's such a great app i use it in my own life to get my sample ballots to see which politicians are in my area. Um, and you know, you can swipe right or left. You, you get the whole idea. Download it today, and like I said, use promo code P-U-N-M. So it's a pretty cool app, right? And yeah. see, like, as you can see here, Yvette Harrell. Oh yeah, so check it out, like you said, you got Yvette Harrell here. Her quote is, if liberals can't beat us, they'll cheat us. And Republican of New Mexico. And, this is my favorite pe feature, actually. You can discover other crazy people in your area. So right now we got like Donald Trump, we got Steve Pierce, we got Mark Ronchetti, Representative Lord, kind of crazy people in our area. And then here you got her bio. She's a Cherokee princess, get that. Ah, uh, as they all are. <laughs> she says, my husband and others say I'm the main character. <laughs> That's just that never give up attitude, huh? Yep. I'm a fan of Christ. But then she supports Project 2025. So this is kind of just the whole rundown, and you can swipe right or left. You kind of get the picture. Yeah, you know, pretty so, easy. So, yeah, it's not too – it's a free app. Go okay. check it out. Remember to use promo code P-U-N-M. So, hey, I'm excited for this episode. Let's get started. She's moving. From the 519 studio in beautiful downtown Albuquerque, it's Pick Up New Mexico. Today's guests, Tamara, Andre, and their dog, Todd, from Novel Animals. Musical guests, Billy and Bella. And now here's our host, Isaiah Yazzie. Good evening, everybody. Thank you for tuning in to Pick Up New Mexico. I'm your host, Isaiah. We have a great show lined up for you tonight. We have Tamara Brock, Andre, and Todd in studio. We also have musical guests, Billy and Bella. It's going to be a good one. But let's get right into some news, the monologue. Um, so far this year, um, eight states have passed laws or are trying to curb cell phone usage in the classroom. Yeah. As a result, students are now sending smoke signals with their vapes. Um, let's see. Italians are revolting after Heinz released spaghetti carbonara in a can. Yeah, last time this happened, Indians revolted when they tried putting Navajo tacos in a can. Um, Isaiah, they're actually called Indian tacos for your information. Okay, Mr. PC, POC, pers politically correct person of color. Jeez, jeez. Okay, let's see what else. Um, the American education system is currently in a K-hole and they can't seem to get it all out. Um, you can just see it everywhere. The state, uh, the Secretary of Education here in New Mexico resigned. And get this, Chris Christie is hosting a class for Yale students on how to run a political campaign. Yeah, out of habit, I heard he dropped out, came back, and dropped out again. <laughs> uh, U.S. birth rates are at an all-time low. Um, Kamala, uh, Trump, if you're watching this, both of you, I have a solution for this problem. 
force all insurance companies to cover honey packs and blue chew. <laughs> Where's baby at tonight? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it's a, yeah, it's a busy week this week. Uh, we got Zozobra happening here pretty soon, and I know everybody's been talking about that. I've seen a whole bunch of commercials leading up to it. And um, viewers, if you don't know, Zozobra is um, kind of this tradition in New Mexico, uh, old man gloom. And so people bring all their glooms of the year to, uh, to burn them and release it. And so I thought it might be nice if we show you our glooms before we take them to Zozobra. So David, I'll start with you. What are your three glooms that you have for this year? Um, well, you know, it's been raining a lot. So first thing is weeds. Um, they're growing pretty bad. So I want to burn them. Uh, man, you know, I am a young New Mexican, so my other two are going to be unpaid tickets and uh, debt. Oh man, I thought you were going to do the debt. There it is, there it is. <laughs> my, you want to see my three? Okay, so here are my three. Let me get a close up on them. My ex, that's, that's the groom number one for 2024. Um, being single is my second gloom. And this one is the hardest, especially here. Living in Albuquerque on a single person's income. Yeah, yeah, that's that. Oh, oh. We just got some breaking news. Straight in from a Sledder Resort and Casino. I'm sorry to inform you all, Santana has canceled his September concert. We'll be right back after these commercials. Welcome back to Pick Up New Mexico. I'm excited to welcome our next guest, uh, probably a household name that you haven't heard yet, but you will. He's been in multiple films. They've been in multiple films. They're New Mexico's favorite film trio. Please give it up for Tamara Brock, Andre Valdez, and the star of the show, Todd. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, how are you? Hi, John. Hi. Hi. Awesome, awesome. How are y'all doing today? Very good. I'm How are you? you? I'm doing well. I'm glad you could get me in the schedule. I know Todd here is super busy. Huh? You're super, you're, you're super busy, aren't you? Oh, he's coming over. <laughs> I wish right. I had more room for him. <laughs> I don't. Awesome, awesome. So um, you, you have been here. How long have you been in New Mexico in the film industry? Three years in the film industry here. Okay. okay, three years, three years. And it looks like it's been a busy three years. I mean, you've been yes. in a bunch of movies that, um, as an animal trainer, as, as a kind of all-around horse trainer. Um, where did you get your start in the film industry? I actually started out training horses many years ago, and I got offered a job um, in California at Universal Studios training horses for a show there. And then um, I ended up taking a, a job with an animal company that trained animals for movies like I do now. Okay. And so I worked in California for 20 years oh, wow, in wow. the film okay. industry. Okay, so I, I was reading over 30 yeah. years of experience in the film industry, is that correct? It's about 25. 25, okay, yeah. okay. That's still an extensive resume. I was looking yes. at a bunch of your stuff. What about you, <laughs> Andre? What, how did you get started? Uh, just kind of fell into it. I was training dogs, and uh, I met Tamara, and tr trained a couple dogs together, and kind of been doing it for about five years now with her. Yeah. And how do you, how are you liking the set? What do you do? I mean, are you also kind of just wrangling up all the animals and and training animals? What does the set? What does it look like on a set for a norm, like a normal day? Well, we 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 do. Uh, Mostly trained animals. There's other people that do the wrangling for the most part. Oh, okay. So um, we do all the trained animals. So Tamara is usually, um, you know, the head of all the trained animals that we work with. So um, it's usually specific to action of some sort, not just a general activity, you know what I mean? Like so, scripted action. Yeah. Whenever there's something specifically in a script that says, you know, an animal does something specifically. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and you know that that action is going to have to be repeated take after take. Okay. So it's not just something like a cow standing in a field, which would be 
something that you would just, an animal that you would wrangle, you would take it there and mm -hmm. feed it in the spot that it's supposed to be in and, and be there to take care of that animal and, and watch and make sure they stay in the, in the right spot. But a trained animal is doing something specific in the script, okay. like rolling around like a, <laughs> like a maniac on the sofa. This could actually be a trained behavior. It's not. We're just letting okay. him. Okay. So if I ever be. need a dog to just chill with the guests on the couch and kind of be all over them, I can hire Todd. Yes, Ooh. you can do it. He's good at it. So I know Todd's been in a few movies himself. Um, I know that one of uh, the clips that we're going to show here in a second, Outer Range, he was in Outer Range. Um, and that looks like a great experience. Um, let's see, let's watch the clip for a bit here of Todd on Outer Range. That would be crazy. Because we have Bill Richardson at the end, and so we want him to react. Like... Uh, <laughs> so Todd. Yeah, Todd, what, how was that for you? What did you, how was uh, Outer Range? What was your favorite scene? Woo! Was that Josh Brolin you were working with? <laughs> yes, he likes yeah. Josh. Josh gave him some good action for that, um, that whole scene. There's, he had to ride in the back of a truck and jump out and then uh, do something we call it go with, which is when you send a dog or an animal with an actor okay. and they walk right beside them, staying right there, you know, so it looks like that that's their dog, Okay. even okay. though he's not necessarily their dog. So he had some good stuff to do in that. So. Todd, who's your favorite actor to work with? <laughs> Does he have a favorite actor? Um, <laughs> let's see, who was your favorite? He actually likes working with other dogs. Oh, most. really? Okay, yes. okay. Has he ever worked with Messi the dog from uh, Anatomy of a Fall? No. No, no. no oh. he has not. It's mostly his, um, his mates at home. Those are the ones he's usually in scenes with. Okay. He did a whole... He really liked that guy from Better Call Saul. What was his name? The character? Buddy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Buddy that, in the yes. last season of Better okay, Call Better Saul. Call yes. really like okay, so guy. we can see him in Better Call Saul. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Season so six. Yeah. What, what seasons? Six. Six? Okay, yeah. so check out season six. Mm -hmm. um, how long does it take a dog to be trained for, for to be, you know, um, composed? And how long does it take them to get into the film industry and act? That's a good question. Um, there's... A, Dogs who have really good personalities to be an actor, it's just natural that they, you know, they like being around people, mm -hmm. they're not environmentally afraid of things like coming into a studio and having cameras and people and, you know, some dogs <laughs> don't necessarily like that or some animals in general, but we look for dogs that first have the right personality. Okay. And... Almost all of our dogs come from rescues. Todd came from a rescue in Utah, actually. Okay, and you don't think Todd was just like, okay, I'm a rescue. I gotta, I gotta work. I can't. I gotta get <laughs> I it the know, first Todd. time. You know, I'm a rescue. I can't. Think? I can't mess up. I gotta get this right. And he chose. It's isn't that how all great actors are born? Yeah. Yes. Right. <laughs> kind of like they have like this, this really rough patch. And, yeah. And Todd, like, he looks great now. And so. Yeah. He had about a year of. Um, just hanging out with us before we actually started, you know, taking him on set and using him on jobs. But the training, the basic training, I would say, takes about um, probably eight weeks. Okay, okay. In order to give them all of their basic behaviors and then make sure that you can go to different environments. Like we go train at Walmart and we go train at Lowe's and we go to different places okay. to make sure that, you know, he can work anywhere with anything happening. People driving by in carts and, you know, beep, beep, beeping noises and whatever, that it, nothing disturbs him, which nothing yeah. disturbs him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's very interesting because, I mean, I have a dog. Actually, his name is Todd. Yeah, I love co that. Yeah, coincidence. But I got the name from Fox and the Hound. That's where I got his name from. Whoa. That's You're a, kidding me. No, I, that's like one of my favorite movies as a kid. Like, Grandma used to put it on. We'd be yes. out on the res. I was like, dang. And I actually got my dog because one of my uncles, who's a rancher, was like, well, 
I'm gonna put it down because the dog <laughs> came out like with the umbilical cord wrapped around him. Oh. So he's missing a pot, like the lower leg. And my oh. uncle was like, this is a useless border collie. And I was like, no. Yeah. <laughs> so I like jumped in front of this, like to yes. save the dog. Um, but yeah, Todd, and he's actually more physically um, stronger and everything than my other dog. And it, I think Todd, my dog would be a great d actor, but I, again, <laughs> he needs to be trained. I tried training him for a video this morning and it just was not working. Let's talk after the show. I'll talk, I'll, give me your card <laughs> and we'll get Todd and Todd to hang out. Even if yeah. you guys wanna hang out, Todd. Yeah. So Todd, what do you like to do on the weekends when you're not, when you're not, when you're not acting? On the weekends when he's not acting, he's usually playing with his buds. Um, he loves our cattle. We just, we have three cat, well, we have a cow and a calf and then a steer and he really loves them. Okay, okay. Um, oh. We also have a zebra. Oh wow, a zebra. That he hung out with a lot when the zebra was little, but now the zebra's out in the pasture and he doesn't spend as much time with him, but he does well, love to run around. Now. Yeah. <laughs> so um, what kind of movies have you been in? Do you have any upcoming films that you've worked on? I mean, what are the most recent films that our viewers may know that you've worked on? Um, there's a few still that are coming out that are very I exciting. I don't know if you can say anything. I know I've been there's, an extra and I know Todd's yes. probably a better actor than me, but I've been an, an extra and I know that you can't say some things. Right. So. Um, there is one I would be reticent to say anything too much about, but it's going to be amazing. Um, and that's all I can say about it. Okay. What, <laughs> it's going to be amazing. <laughs> what but, about like past ones that you've been in? I know that like um, Sicario I saw mm -hmm. on your on your resume yes. on the IMBD. Yes. Um, can you name some other ones for us? Um, I would say probably the one that I have been most proud of it was the hardest job i ever did was um was once upon a time in hollywood oh, with the okay. the pit bulls okay, okay or pit bull but i had three of them that played the part of one and that job was super challenging oh man as you can probably imagine yeah. uh the action that we had to train the director the actors you know everything was um, and it was just a complex movie in general it as was well. Yeah, That's but awesome. it was so much fun to do. It was, I'm super proud of that job. Yeah, it, it was a great movie, too. I didn't know that. I guess I saw it, but I got super excited when I saw that on your resume. And, uh, and, and Todd here wants to talk a little bit more, and he wants the camera to himself. And I yes, think he, he knows the cue. So let's take a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back with a desk piece that Todd is ready for. Right, Todd? Yeah, he's ready. Yeah, okay, we'll be right back after this. Welcome back, welcome back. So um, we kicked out Tamara and Andre, and so we're gonna talk Todd just really quick. I wanna, I know that like you're a busy actor and everything. I know that like you you're, you just have a crazy schedule. You're probably in Santa Fe. You're probably, you know, in Rio Doso. But I know that on the weekends you like to read the newspaper. You like to, you know, get involved, get people registered to vote. So I just want to ask you a few questions about uh, politicians and what you think about them, all right? So I'm just gonna flash them up on the screen and so let me know what you think. Your parents are here. So here's the first one. Let me know what you think of this first person. Kamala Harris. Okay, okay, you're kind of undecided still. What do you think about her opponent, number two, Donald Trump? <laughs> ooh, ooh, yeah, I agree, I agree. Cover the, cover the eyes, cover the eyes. I'll cover it with you. One more time. Okay, okay, okay. Here's one that we should talk about really soon because he's he's in a pretty contentious, heated um, campaign. What do you think about Gabe Vasquez? Ooh, yeah, you're excited for him, huh? Everybody's excited for Gabe. Really, like that's gonna be the race to watch this year. Hopefully we'll get him on the show, who knows? If we do get him on the show, you should come back and maybe you can ask him some questions. You know, it'd be really sick to, to have you and Gabe on camera together, right? Yeah, yeah. We need some urgency for him. I agree, I agree. We gotta get him. 
Oh, yes, yes, yes. Get excited. You know, everybody, we need you to get excited like Todd is right here, all right? We need you to jump up, get registered, and go canvas, all right? What about number four? What about, what about Yvette Harold? What about her? What about one? What about Yvette? Yeah, you're just kind of confused. You didn't know what, you don't know what to expect. Haven't heard too much. And the last one, what do you think about uh, Bill Richardson? What do you think about Bill Richardson? How about this guy here? Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is correct, Todd. That is correct. Todd, that is great. Todd, we got to have you on the show more often. Can we please get Novel Animals back on stage? Thank you. Thank you so much for being here, Tamara. Thank you. Andre, thank you. Todd, thank you so much. We'll be right back with our musical guests, Billy and Bella. Woo! This is going to be perfect. It's going to be beautiful. Okay. Fasten loosely with their sacred rules My darling proletariat We toil away like law-abiding roots Terrified to bend and break the Fancy me a larcenist I only want to steal back what is mine Fancy you an arsonist Burn everything that's sore upon our sight We can get a
seconds till midnight and summer sleeps alone violets bloom along the road draped in tears of dew the doctor says to hew a stone of hope from the mountain of despair forgiveness does not ease the pain so do no harm instead onward shangri Onward to Shangri-La We'll glide into the setting sun To the glory of love without end Behind bars of a willow switch, a man folds paper birds. Against a feather, his heart is weighed. He'll fly over that rainbow bridge someday. Onward, Shangri La, my friend. Onward to Shangri La. We'll glide into the setting sun to the glory of love without end. She's slipping jokers in the deck Wild cards give us a fighting chance To be con men at their own game Onward Shangri-La, my friend Onward to Shangri-La We'll glide into the setting sun To the glory of love without end forget to follow Billy and Bella on all streaming platforms and keep an eye out for their next album La Luz coming out on October 11th. Help control the pet population. Don't forget to spade and neuter your pets. We'll see you next episode. Pick up New Mexico when politics pisses you off, we pick you up.